Today, I'm gonna do this video on actually a survival in wilderness when it comes to fire, making your own fire, okay? There's other options than just using your fire starter. I have a, when I actually have a, my survival kit that I carry everywhere, I keep a tape, piece of, you know, surgical tape. I keep a bandage, you know, if I get cut or whatever, I get hurt, I, I don't have to have nothing else on me. You see, I keep my survival blanket over here. I keep a spare lighter. And I do keep my fire starter, which is basically the best way to start fire because it will last for a long time. So you don't have to worry about running out of gas, you know, on your lighter. Just gonna use this. This is a magnesium, you strike it and it gives you a sparks. Also, I love to have my knife if possible, okay? But if I don't have my knife, I keep this so I can do my sparks using this part of, you know, aluminum piece they actually come with my fire striker. This is Coglands. I got it from Cabela's. So basically the way you do it, today I cheat a little bit. This is, you know, I've got myself some grass, wheat, whatever we call it, dry wheat. You can use anything, you can use timber, leaves, you know, you can use, actually, take your knife. Basically, when you do a wet link, you see these little things that coming apart from it, those little cuts. That's all you really need to start fire. You see there's a wet link here. You make these little pieces kind of into Put a little timber over this. You don't have to be, you know, like a little, put your little piece of pieces here, like that. So right now, when I'm gonna take this in my hands, I'll show you. Let me demonstrate this properly. Let me use my little kit here as a thing that's gonna hold my cell phone because I don't have my cell phone holder. Let's see if we can do it that way. Or it's gonna hold my cell phone. And I can see, see that process. Okay, perfect. Y'all can see it, great. So basically you use this to put some magnesium on here. Right there, you see you got a fire. Now you slowly put things on it. Now you slowly, slowly put your little timbers. You basically have fire. You see how easy that was? Yeah, let's do it a little more. See, you got a fire going on. I cannot do it too much because when the fire gets bigger, I don't want to have to grab no water, okay? So the, the one way to put a fire out, just step on it. Or throw something over like a blanket or something, you know? Take the oxygen out. So we shall be good. So yes, that's how you start fire with using one of these firecrackers. Fire starters, I call it firecracker because it works the same damn way, like a firecracker. Magnesium, the way I do mine, this is the kit I would have taken if I go on a plane anywhere, okay? Because it's illegal. You don't have to worry about TSA taking it from you because if you take this on the plane, I'm not talking about inside, I'm talking as a check-in, check okay? You don't put it on where the pilots are, you know, like on the board, you just put it under the plane, but you can take it with you. So that's the case you get, you know, you end up going to a country where you cannot legally carry your knife. You still have a kind of, 
good survival, you know, keep at least make a fire, you know, in case of emergency and help yourself with your medical needs, whatever, you know, uh, emergency blanket for shelter. So yeah, that is for how to make a fire using fire starter.